सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम श्रेष्ठ आई एम अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस लीड कोड प्रीमियम टॉप इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम सीरीज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी प्रॉब्लम विच आर मैंशन ऑन द लीड कोड टॉप इंटरव्यूज एंड ऑल्सो दिस विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक योर नेक्स्ट कोडिंग इंटरव्यू इन द टॉप नॉच प्रोडक्ट बेस कंपनी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम today we will be discussing this problem container with most water so we have been given uh, n buildings of different height and we need to find what is the maximum amount of water we can store between these buildings so let's say uh, this the maximum amount of water stored here if we try to find will be this the blue portion that is given in this diagram so uh, this is a classical two pointer problem so let's look at how we can solve this yeah so what are we going to do is uh let's say we have this this is given to us uh, and then this is the water cool so what is the maximum amount of water present here what so if we carefully observe let's say this is height 2 this is height 3 cool this is this is also 2 and this is this is 4 let's say so the maximum amount of water that is stored will be if we try to calculate what amount will be stored between these two it will be this between uh, these three buildings this amount of water will be stored so as we can see that the maximum amount we can store between all of them will be this area this area cool so we need if we need to find the what amount of uh a, what is the area of this or what is the amount of water stored we'll just uh, let's say this is uh a this is b and we'll just subtract it and just multiply it by this height cool uh, so the building of let's say if if this is the a building uh, a1 building so it will be the height of a1 so this will be the amount of water stored water stored so how we'll apply the two pointer approach here we'll declare our variables l and r at these points and l will move towards this side and right will move towards its left and we will check at each point that how much amount of water is stored we will store it in a variable max area and i will compare it with the others means we'll at every step we'll uh, calculate the area that is formed by the two buildings let's say in the first case we'll uh, find the area that is covered that is that will be amount of water that will be covered by these two buildings if uh, and also we'll uh, we'll make sure that after uh, certain conditions are satisfied then only we move our pointers because uh, see uh, if we are already uh, having this height greater than this one so what is the point of moving our pointer towards left similarly if the height of uh, r is less than uh, uh, let's say it's lesser than the left one then only we'll move our pointer because then only it will store uh, the certain more amount of water so let's try to uh, find right i'll just write a pseudo code for it uh, so that it will so we'll be having two pointers let's say i and j pointing towards 0 and n minus 1 respectively and we'll um, make a while loop until they, these two pointers meet and just we are storing we are calculating our area let's say it will be j minus i into 
द हाइट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग एंड वी इल देन कंपेयर इट विल विद द मैक्सिमम एरिया दिस द एरिया एट दैट पॉइंट एंड वी वी आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग अ मैक्सिमम एरिया वेरिएबल विच इज कंटेनिंग द मैक्सिमम एरिया ऑफ द प्रीवियस buildings maximum area between the previous building so we will compare it with this and finally if we are just checking that if uh, the uh, height of the left pointer is lesser than the right pointer so we need to move our point this pointer towards the right in order to store more water so we'll do this and if it's not the case we'll just decrement a pointer we'll just make a right pointer towards this side because uh, in that case this building is smaller than so automatically it will store less water so to store more water we are moving a pointer towards this side so let's try to code it and get a better understanding so first we'll declare a variable called max a that is initially zero uh, then we will make a variable left that is zero and a right that is height dot size minus 1 and we will traverse and fill this condition hits and we are here calculating our area area is equal to uh, right minus left into the minimum value of the height of left uh, and right yeah so this is the area and now uh, max a is equal to maximum max a comma area we are comparing it with the maximum amount and then we are checking just that if height of left is less than height of right what we will do we'll do a left plus plus uh, left plus plus and else if, if, if it's not the case we'll do a right minus minus cool and finally what we'll return max an area max a so let's run this code and it should be good to go yeah so it got accepted uh, so i'll just again quickly explain you what it died uh, so we declared these two pointers left and right which are pointing towards the uh, extremes cool then we are traversing uh, making a while loop and we are uh, left and right pointers and we are traversing using them and we've calculated the area at each and every point and can compare it with the maximum area that we are having previously so uh, likewise we'll traverse and if uh, the left height is less than the right height then only we'll move the left pointer and if the right height is smaller then we'll move the right pointer so this way we'll finally find the maximum area we'll just return it so i hope this uh, is clear the type complexity is simply linear they go of n and the space complexity space complexity is constant so try to submit this by your own and uh, we'll meet you in the next video thank you